All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 42. All right. So now we're going to use the button element to create a clickable button. For example, button, click here, and then a close button. So an open, open button, click here, and then close button creates a button with the text click here, right? Uh, we're going to add a button element with the text submit below the input element and the default behavior of clicking a form button without any attributes submits the form to a location specified in the forms action attribute. All right. So this one does have a, a few things in here that we can uh, look up. So let's go to button, button, uh, HTML button tag right here, W3 schools. Uh, so yeah, it defines a clickable button. Uh, inside a buttons element, we can put text. Uh, we can also put stuff, we can also uh, change the text up with the italics, bold, strong, break, image, etc. cetera. Uh, but it's not possible when the button's created with the input element. All right, well, we'll get to the input element button later. Uh, we're going to always specify the type attribute for a button element to tell browsers what type of button it is. And also, we can easily style buttons with CSS. And there's some examples down here. So here's some attributes for the uh, button tag. And the one we're going to use mostly on this one is going to be name and type. All right. Uh, and it, the name just specifies a name for the button. And then the type specifies the type of button which is button reset or submit. And we're gonna be using the submit one, all right? But not in this one, in the next one. All right, so let's uh, get to it. Really easy stuff. We're just gonna say open button like this, button like this, and then we're gonna say close button like this. And then in between these, we're going to write submit, 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 like that, all right? We can come down here and we can see we have this submit button right there. And since we've got that required thing in there right here, it's going to say, please feel, pardon me, please fill out this field right here. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 43. And we'll see you next time.